Hey guys, what's up? Today we're doing another Fig Barf episode on five figures from Star Wars, The Clone Wars. The, the Clone Wars was easily one of my favorite shows growing up, and it still is to this day. And I thought I would do five figures from the series for five characters that I absolutely love from left to right. A Commando Droid, Hondo Onaka, Pre Vizsla, Watt Tambor, and Embo. So, uh, for starters, most of these guys were painted. There were a couple parts that were from official LEGO sets, and I'll get to that when um, they do come up. But without further ado, let's get into this. Starting off with one of the most notorious bounty hunters from the Clone Wars, and one of my favorite characters in general, Embo. This guy is so cool, and I'm so happy with how he turned out. But uh, for starters, I want to say the torso is printed from the official Lego set, and so is the head, uh, removing the cap, which I'll get into in just a minute. So all of that is painted, but I used a Ninjago, like, um, face wrap mask thing, and I just turned it backwards and painted it in a appropriate yellow color. I used a also a Ninjago shoulder pad that I sanded down, and also getting his crossbow out of the way, which is just a modded Lego crossbow, nothing uh, too interesting, just I wanted to give him an accessory. For his waist cape, I just used normal Lego cloth and wrapped that around. Painting all those designs was, uh, fun, to say the least. And I also, for his gauntlet, used some E-tape that I wrapped around, and that was really fun. And, uh, I just used a normal Cape Madness waist cape for the brown cloak. But getting to the helmet, this was fun. I used a 3x3 disc, and painting all these layers was um, tons of fun on a vehicular service. And I used some really cool dry brushing effects to get like the blaster marks. That was really cool. But um, overall, I'm happy with how Embo turned out. And uh, who knows, maybe in the future I'll make Maruk, but I uh, can't make any promises. The Techno Union Army is at your disposal, Count. Next up, the leader of the Techno Union, Watt Tambor. Uh, really happy with how this guy turned out. I used a base from a Star Bricks, and I'll leave a link to his store down below. I don't know if he has any more of these casts, but, um, he was able to send one over to me, and I'm really, really happy with how he turned out. He has four studs on the bottom, if you don't know how these pieces work, and he spray-painted it in this really cool gold color for me. And I just painted up my own blue color for the robes, my own green color for the head. And I used some uh, features for the eyes that I actually used on my Nine Num, which I recently made, and my even my Grogu. So um, using that uh, eye technique is really cool. And I used some normal bronze effects, and I have to sand the holes where the arms go just so the paint doesn't tear. But uh, overall, uh, Watt Tambor turned out really, really good, and I'm uh, happy with how this guy turned out if the stand doesn't wobble. There we go. Uh, there he is, Watt Tambor. Next up, the former leader of the Death Watch, Pre Vizsla. Uh, starting off, I used a Legolas head from the Lord of the Rings sets as a base, and I just painted on all the uh, features like the eyebrows and the cheekbones and even the scar right there. The only thing I didn't actually paint was the eyes and the mouth. Those were the only things that I didn't paint on this guy. And I used a Lego Mando torso as a base and just painted on the uh, symbol, the insignia that he's got on the chest plate. I painted up some very simple boots for him and some armor plates. I used a Clone Army Customs backpack and just glued it on the back right there. If I can move the thing, there we go. He also has an area like Darksaber that I just painted up in silver and I redid the grip. But uh, that's it for Pre Vizsla. Insolence! <laughs> We are pirates! We don't even know what that means! Next up, my favorite figure in this entire showcase, Hondo Onaka, the pirate from Florum. This guy was so time-consuming. The amount of effort it took to pull this guy off was absolutely insane. The only things I did not paint on this guy was the original Hondo head, but I basically repainted the mouth and the eyes on him. So, uh, as you can imagine, uh, this guy was a treat to make. So, starting off, the trench coat for him was a Cape Madness trench coat that I trimmed down and put on some additional 3D elements for the trench coat, like the green elements and the gold elements and the, uh, the chest armor. And for the normal shirt, I used a white shirt as a base with an E-tape belt, and I just painted on the V-neck on the collar right there. And I used a normal Hondo head as a base. If you don't know what a Hondo head it uh, looks like, I'll leave a picture up for you right there. But I had to repaint the eyes because uh, Lego's eyes don't exactly look that great in my opinion. I've had to paint normal Lego eyes on, which is a total pain if you ask me. And I also painted the original mouth, which wasn't as hard as the eyes. But 
Um, the legs have just regular painted boots, and the arms are nothing special. But uh, the hardest thing to do with this guy, aside from the head, was the his helmet. I used a Lego um, beanie cap thing from like kind of like what the Lego City robbers use. And I attached some braids onto the back using some thread, and I painted the beads onto that. And I basically sculpted all the, what what is it, like the points, the rows? I don't know. I don't know hats. And making it was a total pain, but it worked out so well in the end, and I put it over with my own black color. But overall, I am so happy with how Hondo turned out. And who knows, maybe in the future I'll make um, his Rebels design, which I probably won't because this one is significantly better. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Hondo. <laughs> Lastly, here we got a normal BX Commando droid. So, uh, if you don't know where I got this sculpt from, I got it from Custom Brick Builder 101 over on his site on Instagram, and I'll leave a link to his store down below, but he offers these, like, really cool, like, Commando, like, they're not even, like, a. Uh, they're just complete casts, and they have, like, really cool, like, ball joint pieces and joints using, like, Lego antennas. I don't know how he does it, but they're so, so cool, but, uh, painting this up was a lot of fun. I had to just trim out the little joints on the edges so the paint won't tear off when I move the joints. And, um, as you can see, he also has an E5 rifle from Brick Arms, and I also made a vibroblade for him. Uh, this is an Aerolite vibroblade, and I just drilled a magnet into there so it won't stick out as much and I put a magnet into the back of the droid and there I think it looks really really good I'm happy with this guy turned out I was gonna make the normal captain commando droid but I think I'm gonna stick with the grunt for now so that's gonna do it for this video guys if you enjoyed this fig barf be sure to give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss future customs and I got a lot more videos on the way so uh stay tuned for those I'll see you later